The Jurassic Park franchise helped us visualize how scary our life would have been if dinosaurs stuck around. But what if I told you that there existed 12 more animals that were much more scarier, much more intimidating, and much more gruesome than dinosaurs? Number 12. Titanoboa Titanoboa is one of the most intimidating species of snakes that ever existed. It lived during the Paleocene Epoch which is approximately 60 to 58 million years ago. It is also one of the largest snakes to have ever lived on Earth with a total body length of approximately 12.82 meters and a body mass ranging between 1,610 to 2,500 pounds. It was first discovered in 2009 by Dr. Jonathan Block and his team. They found remarkably well-preserved fossils of Titanoboa at the Serrajon coal mines in Colombia, which included vertebrae, ribs, and other skeletons lethal remains. These remains provided crucial evidence for the existence of Titanoboa and subsequent studies helped scientists reconstruct its anatomy and lifestyle. Titanoboa's body was massive and cylindrical, with a long muscular tail and a relatively short head. It had numerous vertebrae much larger than those of modern snakes, which allowed it to support its massive body weight. Its skin was relatively smooth and covered in scales similar to that of modern snakes. Titanoboa also has a unique feature in its vertebrae known as zygantrum. Zygantrum were ball and socket joints that allowed its spine to be more flexible and capable of supporting its weight. This unique feature allowed Titanoboa to move efficiently and strike with precision and effectively target its prey, which includes fish, turtles, and crocodiles. The exact reason why Titanoboa went extinct is still not clear, but it is believed that it happened due to the changes in climate and habitat. It lived during the time when the Earth was much warmer than it is today, with tropical rainforests covering much of the planet. As the climate cooled and rainforests began to collapse, Titanoboa struggled to find suitable prey and habitat, which led to its extinction. Number 11. Arctotherium angustidens Arctotherium angustidens, also known as the South American giant short-faced bear, was an extinct species of bear that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch approximately 2.5 million to 11,000 years ago. It was one of the largest bears to ever exist with an estimated body mass of up to 3,300 pounds and a height of about 11 feet when standing upright. It had a robust build with short legs and a short face hence the name short-faced bear. Arctotherium angustidens had several unique features that made it a unique and intimidating predator. The most distinctive of these features was its short face, which was adapted for powerful biting. It had large and sharp teeth which were capable of crushing bones with its powerful forelimbs with sharp claws were well suited for digging and grabbing its prey. Its overall size and strength likely made it a formidable apex predator in its environment. Arctotherium angustidens was a carnivorous species that primarily fed on a variety of large mammals, such as ground sloths, horses, and other herbivores that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch. The Arctotherium angustidens went extinct around 11,000 years ago during the Quaternary Extinction Event. The exact reason why they got extinct is still unclear, but it most likely happened due to climate change, overhunting, and loss of habitats. Number 10. Nothosaurus Next up is an extinct genus of Sauroterygian reptiles called Nothosaurus. The reptile lived during the Middle Triassic period, which is approximately 250 to 240 million years ago. Its fossils have been discovered in various locations around the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Nothosaurus had a streamlined body with a long neck and a pointed snout, similar to that of modern-day crocodiles which made it suitable for aquatic life. Its body was covered in scales and it had paddle-like limbs with sharp claws modified for swimming. It also had large eyes and nostrils located near the top of its skull which made it capable of spending extended periods of time submerged below the surface to ambush its prey from below. Nothosaurus's length ranged between 4 to 5 meters. Its streamlined body allowed it to move efficiently through the water and capture its prey. It was a carnivorous reptile that fed on a variety variety of marine prey including fish, cephalopods, and other small marine animals. Nothosaurus played a key role in the evolutionary history of marine ecosystems during the Triassic period. Its fossils discovered from different parts of the world provided vital insights into the evolutionary adaptation of reptiles to marine environments, shedding light on the transition from land-dwelling ancestors to fully aquatic forms of life. They are believed to have gone extinct during the late Triassic period. 
Researchers believe that their extinction is a result of changing environmental conditions during the late Triassic, such as shifts in sea levels and ocean temperatures, as well as competition with other marine reptiles. Number 9. Jacolopterus This creepy-looking creature is called Jacolopterus. It is an extinct genus of Europaterid, a group of ancient aquatic anthropods commonly known as sea scorpions. Jacolopterus lived during the late Silurian period, which is approximately 460 to 450 million years ago. It was first discovered in 1914 by the German paleontologist Otto Jacob from fossil specimens found in the Bundenbach Shale in Germany. Jacolopterus was one of the largest anthropods that ever lived. Some researchers suggest that it had a total length of approximately 2.5 meters, including its long spiny appendages. Jacolopterus's body was segmented into a distinct head, a pair of large compound eyes, and two large grasping appendages called chelicerae. These features of the arthropod allowed it to capture and manipulate prey. It also had six pairs of swimming appendages or paddles that were used for propulsion in water. Jacolopterus was a carnivorous predator. It most likely fed on a variety of marine organisms such as smaller anthropods, fish and other marine invertebrates. It utilized its large chelicerae and powerful appendages to capture, crush and devour its prey. Just like many Eurypterids, Jacolopterus went extinct during the late Silurian period. We still don't have a definitive answer as to why it happened, but it most likely happened due to multiple reasons such as environmental changes, competition with other predators, and other ecological factors. These factors slowly reduced the Jacolopterus numbers during the later periods and they eventually went extinct by the end of the Permian period. Number 8. Phoboromus patasoni The prehistoric creature is from an extinct species of giant rodent that lived during the late Miocene epoch which is approximately 10 million years old. They were mostly found in an area that is now known as Venezuela. It is the largest known rodent that has ever lived and its fossils were first discovered in the Euromarco Formation in northern Venezuela in the year 2000. Paleontologists Marcelo R. Sanchez Villagra and Orenjo A. Aguilera discovered Phoboromus patasoni based on fossil remains found in the Euromarco Formation. The fossils included skull fragments, limb bones and teeth which provided insights into the anatomy and biology of this giant rodent. Phoboromus patasoni is estimated to be 3 meters in total length and body mass exceeding 1,500 pounds. From the fossils, researchers could also tell that the rodent had a robust body with a long sturdy tail and limbs. It also had a large elongated skull with strong jaw muscles and sharp incisor teeth. The most intimidating part of Phoboromus patasoni was its size. It had a body mass similar to that of a small modern day hippo. Its large size and powerful limbs, particularly its digging adaptations, would have made it well adapted for foraging and surviving in its environment. Phoboromus patasoni is believed to have been herbivorous that fed on a diet of aquatic plants and vegetation that grew in the swamps and marshes of its Miocene environment. Its large size and robust limbs would have allowed it to access and process a wide range of plant material. The exact cause of the extinction of Phoboromus patasoni is not well understood, but it is likely to have been a combination of factors such as changes in climate, habitat loss, competition with other species, and possibly predation pressure. Number 7. Dimetrodon angelensis This extinct species of Synapsis reptile lived during the Permian period, which is approximately 290 to 280 million years ago. It belongs to the genus Dimetrodon, which is known for its distinct sail-like structure on its back. The fossils of Dimetrodon angelensis were found in the lower Permian age strata of the Angelina River area in Texas and it was described recently in the year 2021 by paleontologists Matthew A. Brown and Aaron J. McNeil. Dimetrodon angelensis was a large reptile that measured around 3.4 meters in total length and weighed over 440 pounds. Its sail was one of its most distinctive features and it likely played a role in its intimidating appearance. The sail was made up of elongated spines that created a formidable silhouette. It also had large sharp teeth and a carnivorous skull shape with powerful jaws well suited for hunting and feeding on other animals. Its diet consisted of a variety of prey, including early amphibians, reptiles and other small animals 
that were present in its ancient ecosystem during the Permian period. Dimetrodon angelensis went extinct during the Permian-Triassic mass extinction event. During this mass extinction, 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species became extinct which is the largest in history. It mostly happened due to changes in climate, habitat loss, and competition with other species. In terms of evolution, Dimetrodon angelensis is an important example of the diversity of life forms that have existed on Earth and evolutionary history of Synapsis reptiles. Number 6. Scutosaurus Scutosaurus is an extinct genus of pareosaur parareptiles that existed around 252 to 251 million years ago during the late Permian Epoch. Its fossils were discovered in the Sokolki assemblage zone of the Malokinelskaya Formation in European Russia, near the Ural Mountains. The first Scutosaurus fossils were described in the late 19th century, and additional discoveries have been made over the years, shedding more light on its anatomy and biology. Scutosaurus was a large reptile that was 3 meters in length and weighed several hundred kilograms. It had a massive barrel-shaped body covered in thick armor of bony plates or scutes. Its armor consisted of large scutes on its back and smaller scutes on its sides, limbs and tail that would have formed a shield-like covering, making it a formidable-looking creature. Scutosaurus also had a unique head shape with a flattened snout and curved horns on its head, which added to its distinctive appearance. Researchers believe that Scutosaurus was a herbivorous reptile that fed on a diet of plants and vegetation that grew in the Permian landscape. Scutosaurus, along with many other reptiles and plant species, went extinct during the end Permian extinction. This may have happened due to a combination of different factors, but many experts believe that the dramatic but gradual extinction of low-growing plants such as cycads, cycadophytes, and bonita tails caused the stegosaurus to go extinct as they survived on those plants. Number 5. Andrusarchus The Andrusarchus is another extinct genus of mammals that lived during the Eocene Epoch which was 45 to 36 million years ago. This ferocious-looking creature is considered one of the largest land-dwelling mammals to ever exist. It is believed to be 4 meters in length and up to 3,300 pounds in weight. Its fossil was first discovered in the early 20th century in Mongolia, and the genus was named after an American naturalist and explorer, Roy Chapman Andrews. Andrew Sarkis had a long slender body with a large skull and a relatively short tail. It had really sharp serrated teeth, powerful jaws, and well-developed sense organs indicating that it was a formidable predator. Its serrated teeth suggest that it had a powerful bite and was adapted for hunting. Researchers also believe that the structure of this body allowed for more agility and maneuverability while hunting. However, the exact appearance and anatomy of Andrew Sarkis are still debated as the fossils of this genus are fragmentary and incomplete. Due to its large size and powerful jaws, scientists have proposed that Andrew Sarkis was a top predator which fed on a variety of prey, including other mammals, reptiles, and even large herbivorous animals. Andrusarchus went extinct during the Eocene Epoch and did not leave any known descendants. The reasons for its extinction are still unclear, but it likely happened due to a combination of environmental changes, competition with other mammals, and other factors contributing to its demise. Number 4. Titanichthys Titanichthys is an extinct genus of the large prehistoric fish that lived during the late Devonian period, which was approximately 380 to 360 million years ago. Its fossils were found in North America and Europe, and it is considered one of the largest fish that ever lived. It was discovered in the late 19th century, and the genus was named after its huge size, with Titan meaning giant and Ichthys meaning fish. Titanichthys was approximately 6 to 9 meters in length and had a streamlined elongated body shape with a wide mouth and large round eyes. The entire body of the fish was covered in thick scales called dermal plates. It lacked any teeth or jaws, however it had a large gill basket structure in its mouth that is likely used to filter feed. Being the largest fish to have ever lived, Titanichthys was surely distinctive and intimidating. Its streamlined body shape and large eyes suggest that it was a fast swimmer, making it capable of capturing prey in open water. The absence of teeth and jaws and the presence of a gill basket-like structure in its mouth indicate that Titanichthys was a filter feeder, likely feeding on plankton and small organisms in the water column. Just like other Devonian period creatures, 
Titanicthus became extinct due to climate change and competition in the ocean. Number 3. Cynonathus Cynonathus is an extinct genus of large-bodied cynodontian therapsids that lived in the Middle Triassic during the Late Permian period. The fossil of this mammal-like reptile was found in South America and Africa and is considered an important transitional form in the evolutionary lineage leading to mammals. It was first discovered in the early 20th century and the genus was named after it its distinctive jaw structure, with cyno meaning dog-like and nathus meaning jaw. Cynonathus was a medium-sized reptile that was approximately 1 to 2 meters in length and its body shape resembled that of a modern dog. The reptile was a carnivorous predator as indicated by its large skull, sharp teeth, strong jaws and well-developed jaw muscles. It also had four legs, each ending in five toed feet, and its limbs were positioned under its body, suggesting that it was a more advanced form of therapsid capable of efficient locomotion. Cynonathus fed on small to medium-sized prey animals. Its large skull, sharp teeth and strong jaws allowed it to easily capture and kill its prey. Fossil evidence indicates that Cynonathus had a complex set of teeth with different shapes and sizes, which may have allowed it to to consume a variety of prey, including insects, small reptiles and early mammal relatives. Cynonathus started to go extinct during the late Permian period, but some of its relatives survived and eventually gave rise to the first true mammals during the Mesozoic era. These early mammal relatives underwent further evolutionary changes and diversification, leading to the wide array of mammals that exist today, including humans. Number 2. Mosasaurus The late Cretaceous period was a time of diverse marine life where many aquatic creatures lived and amongst these aquatic creatures was Mosasaurus which was known to be one of the deadliest predator reptiles. The fossils of Mosasaurus have been found in various parts of the world, including North America, Europe, Africa and Asia. The genus was first described in the early 19th century based on fossils found in the Netherlands, and it has since been the subject of extensive study and research. Mosasaurus was a large marine reptile that had an estimated length of up to 15 to 18 meters or even larger, depending on the species. It had a streamlined body with a long powerful tail and paddle-like limbs adapted for swimming. Its skull was elongated and equipped with sharp teeth, indicating that it was a carnivorous predator. The most unique feature of Mosasaurus was its flexible jaw. Its sharp teeth combined with a flexible jaw allowed it to capture and devour a wide range of marine creatures, including fish, squid and other marine reptiles. Its streamlined body and powerful tail allowed it to easily catch fast-moving prey in the open ocean. Mosasaurus and many other the marine reptiles went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago, during the same event that led to the mass extinction of dinosaurs known as the KT event. Number 1. Helicoprion This extinct genus of shark-like eugeniodont fish lived during the Permian period and is known for its unique tooth walls and has been a subject of fascination among paleontologists and enthusiasts alike. It was first discovered by Russian geologist Alexander Karpinsky in 1899 and its fossils have been found worldwide in Russia, Western Australia, China, the USA and more. The Helicoprion was a cartilaginous fish that is similar to modern-day sharks and rays. However, what makes it truly unique is its distinct spiral-shaped tooth walls. These tooth walls were located in the lower jaw and they formed a spiral shape resembling a circular saw or a buzz saw. The exact position and purpose of these tooth walls have been a topic of scientific speculation with various hypotheses proposed over the years. This arrangement of teeth would have allowed Heliocoprion to capture and slice through its prey, making it a formidable predator in the ancient seas. Its tooth walls and other anatomical features indicated that it was a carnivorous predator that fed on a variety of marine creatures, including fish and other marine organisms. Heliocoprion went extinct about 225 million years ago. The exact cause of the extinction is not fully understood, but it is believed to have been related to a combination of factors, including changes in sea levels, climate and other environmental changes.